when our partners, the UNHCR, and uh, that is the United Nations High Commission for Refugees and the, the Water Mission Uganda, which is the implementing partner for, for UNHCR, came to us and informed us of the gap that was existing, that they were having difficulties with providing uh, the required per capita of water for people, uh, which was being caused by uh, the irregular pumping as a result of lack of fuel for running the generators. So we looked at the viable option, and that was to uh, improve on the facilities that were existing. So we decided to solarize three systems, one in village one, another in village two, and the other in village three of zone four. So that one provides us with 5.6 kilowatts of uh, power, which is used to run a 4 kilowatt groom force pump. And then this, we pump water to a reservoir of uh, 20 cubic, that is 20,000 liters capacity. So two hours, in two hours we pump water and this 20 cubic is filled up. Right now, we can say all the three villages, that is village one, two, and three of Zone 4 Annex, are accessing the required per capita of water that is required. And the key objective of this training is to ensure that communities take up the mantle, the responsibilities of owning their water sources. This one we are doing by selecting six people per water source and train them for three days in water contamination, operation and maintenance of these water sources, contribution of a monthly water user fund, and then share the responsibility of how do we support even the people with disabilities to be inclusive in the usage of this water. That's why you find that the, in my background, we have members on the committees representing people with special needs. So we are doing protection, gender and inclusion, integrated it in a wash. Mm -hmm. 